Welcome everybody, this is Josh Placer from GameWisdom.com. For this video, I am taking a look at the recently released Satellite Rain. This was a Kickstarter project, I believe last year or the year before, from a lot of the people who made the original Syndicate and Syndicate Wars, Sans Pure Moly Hero, of course. So the game's been early access for the better part of 2015, and by the time this video is up, it should be officially released. And I've been playing this on and off, and I'm liking the game, but at this point I'm not really loving it. Part of it is due to how the mechanics are set up, and a lot, and also somewhat of the UI, which we're going to talk about tonight. But let's get in, shall we? going to sub a new user since this my old one was during the early access version. Of course you gotta pick your company logo. Mm -hmm. So many weird looking ones, right? Yeah, let's go with that. Okay. The game takes a long time to load up because it all takes place on one really big map. Right, and this is like the little story introduction. And cybernetics pioneer Draco Genics is making headlines with what they're calling instant consciousness transferal technology. But many are already referring to it as resurrection. And this is a scrambling for a piece of Draco Genics. The list of wealthy donors has increased with celebrities and politicians from around the world jumping on board. The Restech satellite network has expanded globally, making Dracogenics a household name Allegations overnight. Allegations swirling today as rivals accuse Dracogenics of trading immortality for political influence. Federal authorities are called to investigate the Continuing claims. civil unrest today following the privatization of city services. Dracogenics security forces clashed with rioters all through the night. Dracogenics CEO Stephen Dangler was exonerated today as the newly appointed judge dismissed the charges, calling them, quote, Frivolous and Dracogenics have nobly provided their own private security force to assist in subduing the last stubborn holdouts of the city's poor and desperate. They announced the offenders are safely confined to the lower levels of the city where the conflict... Zangler responded today to claims of a new threat from a shadowy corporate rival. Oh, Answering a call to action from stockholders, Mr. Dangler denied rumors of Restec secrets being stolen in an act of corporate espionage. It's just in, we're hearing that city police have apprehended a suspect related to the wave of recent anti-Dracogenics attacks. City security forces have the suspect now in custody after a gunfight with police that left several... <sighs> So here we are in the game. This is entirely real time and it's played from this isometric view. So you can see we have one agent so far. Here's our soldier. Now, at, unfortunately, at this time, there is a bug that the menu button doesn't work. Usually, you just hit the hotkey M to bring this up. But we're going to have to make do with that for right now. So here is the map of the city. We're in downtown right now. And the first thing we need to do is just get through these the basics. I guess you're wanting me, or your alert level. 
the more damage you do, or the more things you basically do inconspicuously, it's going to raise up, it's going to summon more guards. I'm going to hack the store. We need to actually get to the store before it runs out. There we go. Now you have to move into cover in order to not be detected by a lot of things. Such as this camera. And what's interesting about Sally Rain is that you do have complete control of how you handle any of the game's objectives. You can just go guns blazing, you can be stealthy, it's pretty much up to you. And because the game is open world, you can go in and out of mission areas, and basically do whatever you can to um, supply yourself and make life easier for you and your team. Right now we just have two guys. But we're going to get more as time goes on. Well, basically, we're going to get up to four. Alright, so we're going to move our team out. You can left-click on most things to get information on it. So the support special ability, it basically lets you scan the neighboring area, and you can see things like important people, What's considered like the threat area, stuff like that. So we're gonna need to turn these both on. And we're gonna try to stay stealth here. The stealth detection in this game is a little funky from what I've noticed. I've had cases where I've been spotted while hiding and other times the guy doesn't see me. We just have to get around there. Even though the flashlight shows the general direction, they do have very long range in this game. Now you can see that this is flashing because we are in a restricted area, so we are caught, people will not like that. Okay, just run right past there, and get to the next area. We do have to do this tutorial section each time. So as long as we don't have our guns out, we basically blend into the crowd, like so. Okay. We'll bribe him, and now we're going to get our third member of our crew, the hacker. And when we talk about crew, we're actually talking about their consciousness. These are basically clones that are having the minds of our agents inside of them. And we can actually capture civilians and other people in the city, and then use them as clone substitutes to get enhanced stats. So with our hacker, he can basically open up these security systems a lot easier, so we're going to let him do that. And these beacons are fast travel, and they will also unlock new missions. So we're going to turn that on. Alright, so with that, we have access to our loadout. So as you can see, each character has different weapons, different gear. Now, at the start, you only have a few items, but over time, you'll be able to unlock more items, more weapons, and basically just make life a lot easier for you. We still need to find our fourth member. So what we can do now is the hacker had an augmentation, which is a silencer. You can see. Perfect for doing stealth stuff. So I'm going to give the silencer to all three of our characters. That way, whoever we take into a situation will be able to 
have at least some kind of stealth control over it. Over here we have skills. As your characters level up, you can see they each have a few basic stats like health, weapon specialist, pack mule, but then they have class specific ones. So the hacker can improve his ability to hack open gates, his ability to hack actual people, and you can actually take people and then use them as decoys or as clone circuits later on. But we can't do anything like that right now. Alright. Now what they're telling us, so we can use a zip line here, as you can see. But because we don't have the gear for it, there is a chance they're going to get hurt. But again, this is for the tutorial, so we have to do it. <laughs> and there they go. And you have to revive your agents, or you will have to suffer a cost penalty to revive their, get a new clone of them. Health recovers automatically, which is nice. So now that they all have pistols... Oh, by the way, this is a bit of a UI problem with the game. You can only change weapons from the menu here, but when you change a weapon, it automatically puts them in offense mode. So if you're not careful, you could take out all your guns while you're in the middle of a public area and just piss off the police. Alright, so we're going to go in here. We're almost done with the tutorial. Alright. Okay, so to stealth kill a guy, you basically have to hold alt and right click on them as long as they don't see you. And he's dead. Let me get some free ammo. And now this is basically the first official part of the mission. We have to get through this final checkpoint to get into the city. If I turn on the our worldview, you can see that this area is monitored. So as soon as we step in there, we're basically breaking curfew in a sense. So I do have to be careful not to let anyone see me. We will hack the camera. This will disable that for about a minute or so. Hopefully give us time to get over here, break the gate, and then get in. Your stand that recovers over time, but it does take a while. Uh, 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 come on. Don't turn around. Come on. Go. Oh, there we go. Alright, so we are officially in the game. Uh -oh. Apparently they don't like us. One second, we just gotta get away. Apparently they must have saw us from back here, but that's alright. Alert will disappear over time. There we go. New relay beacon is up. I'm just waiting for... There we go. The game will always say whenever you are out of danger like that. Again, the main menu unfortunately doesn't work right now, so we have to go through the just the button there. So here is your mission, Project Satellite Rain. We basically have to take out uh, Dra Dracogenics, I guess that's the name of it. And to do that, we have a series of missions to basically take back the city one district at a time. We have complete control over what quests we do and whenever we go for it. So the first quest, we need to get our fourth member back. He's in the police station right there. As you can see, there are relay beacons set up around. These will allow us to access fast travel and unlock more missions. So. Now again, the game is entirely real time, so I can basically do whatever I want, whenever I want. So we're going to make our way into the city now. Let 
Where's our team? Oh, there they are. And you, it's completely up to you how you approach all the missions and who you use and when. So for me, I like to play things stealthily but with some aggression. So we'll probably see that in this play. You can see it's definitely the future, bright neon lights. It's always raining. Now we are in a public place, so as long as I don't pull out my weapons, they will not attack me. Besides the main quest, there's a lot of things you can do as side missions. So one is hacking ATM machines. And this will let me actually get a little bit of money coming in. Let's back up there, I don't want the camera to see me. Yeah. Alright, we're in business. The company's got me all set up to help yeah. us take Dengler down. His control over Dracogenics gives him control over Restech, and his control right. over Restech gives him control over everyone who wants it. Oh, gotta get out the camera before they actually see me. Their R &D labs, and we're gonna use it to keep your agents in the field despite casualties. But that's a short-term fix. Long-term, a benefactor has supplied okay. us with a virus that we can use to take control of his Restech satellite systems. Ultimately, our plan is for you to get into Dracogenics' main tower to install the virus directly into their hardware. Right now, though, we've got to build up our company's presence here, working on getting you all the gear, money, and tech that we right. need to make that final So I'm going to do first. I don't think they're going to let us just waltz through the front door. I'm going to send our other agent down here to activate this beacon, while these two guys are going to go break out our friend. You need to get to the police station. Now some things like this, we can, this is a power router, we can activate this with the soldier, but we need to upgrade him first. Alright. Where are we here? Okay, we're getting close to the police station. Our support is almost at that relay beacon. Again, we have several options. We could just go right through the front door, guns a-blazing. We can scope around, see if we can find a back way in. Alright. So the actual objective is we need to get right here to get the infiltrator out. How we do that is basically up to us. You can also spend money to get tips on what to do. So we go over here, there we go, and we click on purchase information. We're given a little extra info. As you can see, there's a secondary entrance on the western side that there really isn't a lot of security. So you know what, we're going to go over there. Meanwhile, she is over here. And what can we do with her? There's quests such as taking out the bank, which will give us a lot of money. I'm going to send... Let's see. So we have to send in the hacker to do it. Some quests you can send anyone in, other ones you have to send in a specific class person. I'm going to, just to save us some time, I'm going to send our support over to this next beacon, right there. Meanwhile, these guys are going to go in, and we're going to see if we can break our friend out. Again, you gotta be careful about where you're standing because it's sometimes hard to determine where you are and in relation to where the enemies can see you. Okay. I want to again take out the cameras. So we'll move. 
move them over here. No cameras will make it a lot. Oh, no, no. Alright, she got the next point. Alright, gotta be careful. Once they turn around, we'll make a run for the... Okay. Put that camera... Alright, go, 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 go. Hack that thing. Alright, cameras are down. Probably didn't need to bring the soldier in this, by the way. But he's just there as muscle, I guess. Alright. Almost there. Alright. We have our new person. Well, we have to get out now. The cameras are almost recharged. You can tell by the dwindling bar. Right, we'll go around here. Come on, guys. Let's go. And with the Infiltrator on our team, basically our party is complete. I don't think you're going to get anyone else in the game. Okay, we're almost out of here. There we go. Alright, so we got a prototype which we can use to either keep the weapon or we can try and research it and then develop it for multiple copies which I guess that's always the better thing to do okay so here we go so in order to do research we need to have research people So we will need to come back for that. Let's see. And now here is oh, we got another mission alert. Okay. So now we can actually search for researchers who can we can bribe to join us, and then they will provide um, research support so we can manufacture weapons and whatnot. So here's the other thing why you want to activate these relay beacons. I can, as long as your troops are not in combat or being detected, I can fast travel them to any active waypoint or relay station. Okay, I'm going to turn on our view here so I can see Okay, where's our target? There he is. I'm just gonna give him a hundred dollars and he's gonna join our research. There we go. So basically to get more research, you just gotta walk around with worldview on and see if you can spot someone. These terminals are basically like lore, and they may be used for missions, so I'm going to turn that one on. Okay. Alright. Did I activate that? Oh, it requires a level 2 hack. Okay. Yeah, we 
got that done. And now here's the fun thing. You can hijack people and then use their bodies to basically be surrogates for your agent. So to do that, you scan the person, spend the extra money, and you can see where it says clone candidate attributes. Each clone, when you get a fresh clone, will give that person enhanced abilities as long as they don't get killed. So you know what, I'm going to take him, and to do that, you have to go up to them with the hacker, and you have to hack them. But you cannot, you got to be careful not to be near any enemies. Okay, so I will be, there we go. This guy's not looking, thankfully. And the civilians don't care. So now he is my, basically my puppet. I could send him into harm's way, but I'm going to recruit him. So we're going to return him from cloning. And then what you do is come to loadout, clone. You can see these are the clones we have so far assigned to each class. And if we assign them to a different one, you can see this guy has plus health, speed, and health regen. So I am going to give that... Yeah, the, the UI here is a little confusing. You want to use the buttons first to highlight which guy you want. Then you're going to click on the person here, and then hit apply. So now my hacker is in the body of Jeff Matthews and he's going to have enhanced stats. And you can hijack higher level people like soldiers and whatnot and we'll give them higher stats until they are killed. So there's my team. We still want to find people though. Okay, let's get everyone together. So I'm going to keep it on worldview there's someone else, we can bribe him. The more researchers we get, the cheaper and quicker we can do research. So we'll give that to him. We also want to knock off the bank. This will give us a lot more money than just the ATM machines. But we need to get there. So if we come back here to mission control. There is the bank. We can also break into security to lower uh, the amount, oh, I'm sorry, s increase the amount of time it takes for cameras to detect you. Oh, I should probably activate the research now that we have. Alright, so as you can see, for each one we put on, it's going to decrease the cost. Or it's going to decrease the time, but increase the cost. So you know what? We're just going to do two for right now. And let that go. But we do want to get to that bank. Oh, we have a security drone. Oh. Got to be careful where we're going. You can see there is a... We could break into there and affect the security if we want. Maybe we will do that, but I think I want to get the bank knocked over. What's this? Oh. We will break in there. Each one of these ATMs we hit, it's going to give us a little extra money. And besides, free money, you can't go wrong. Alright, are we near another... Okay, there's the relay beacon. There's the bang, it's all the way over there. Okay. So what I'm going to do is... to turn on the beacon ping. There we go. 
Now we can see all those beacons on the map. And we'll start sending our people around to activate the beacons. It's a little bit annoying, the isometric view. It can be hard to spot where certain things are. So we'll send him over here. And while they're doing that, maybe I will break into the security station. Okay. Now, as long as I'm not doing anything suspicious, they won't mind. Wait, is there a uh, beacon right here? Oh, there is. I'll send him up there. So I am going to actually go hot. We have a silence gun. Goodbye. We will get away from the dead body. <laughs> Don't want them to be suspicious. Our relay beacon is on, so I can teleport everyone around if I want. Let's see, how are we doing? He's almost there. Let's see. Where is that beacon? And you can't uh, switch the camera around, unfortunately. I should probably scan that while I'm here. Okay. So here's our two guard or here's our two guys right here. Alright. Huh? What happened? I'm not sure why they got detected. This is kind of one of the problems with the game being real time. It's sometimes hard to tell, like, what's going on, why things are getting out of control like this. I should be able to outrun them. Again, we have to reach the main building, which is right there. There's another gate. We do have to get all the way down there. Okay, they have a security drone. So it 
that. Cameras are now 50% slower. And now we run. Don't mind us, we're leaving. This guy won't spot me. But we gotta level up, thankfully. It's funny what you can get away with here. Alright, we are free. So if we're doing so well, we have some skill points. Alright, so... What can we get? You want to go for a second level hacking so we can get further into places. Once they are clear, we can then move on. Good. So let's see, what are we doing mission wise? So number two, she is down here. There she is. We'll turn on that beacon. Like the effects and like the muse has like that good like techno thriller beat to it. Okay, has she activated that yet? No. These guys are safe up here. But I do want to knock off the bank so we can get some extra funds. Okay. There's another waypoint right here. Now your characters are very specialized. You can't hack with someone who's not the hacker. Or you can, but it has a greater risk. So in order to do that, I have to hold Alt down to basically force the command. Now we are right here, so what is this building? Okay, that's the guard station. We could break into there. But I want to get up here to that relay. Where are you? There it is. That way I can just warp everyone up here. And we can then start looking around. Can I force this? Let's see. Huh. Oh. If you fail the force, you can see you get shocked. <laughs> Alright, he's back. You can also look for more clones to take over. When I get hijacked too, I can actually take over these guys as well. Alright, there's the beacon and we're really close to the bank. So we 
order here, we need to get the either support or the soldier into here to take it over. Let's see, there's other places we can go to. Alright, so I can warp everyone to the relay beacon again. Going here. Click the beacon. There we go. No more custom pings. Where were we? There we go. Fast travel all. And they're all here. Alright, so it's time for a bank heist. We need to figure out the best way in. Oh, we can just go right here. And we just have to get him right to this door and then we'll be able to break in. We will definitely hack the security cameras too. You can decide how many people you want to send in. I generally like one, two if necessary, just to make it easier to control. All right. So we're gonna go in right here. Isometric stealth play reminds me a lot of the old school like Commando games. Okay, get up there, it's just a straight line. Okay, we'll hack that. And hopefully we can sneak on in. If I do get caught and killed again, it's just a small penalty. I will lose the clone bonuses, but I can always get another civilian, that's not a problem. Okay, we're almost to the bank. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, drone, don't turn around. Don't turn around, drone. Don't mind me, we're just gonna make a withdrawal. Uh oh. Whew. Oh, never mind. Alright. So with that hacked, we now have more money coming in. But we need to get the hell out of here. Come on. Don't mind me yet again. See, it's kind of weird how this works. Run, 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 run. Gotta get they start shooting. Ow, 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 ow. As long as there are no guards here. You know what? While the cameras are still hacked, I'm gonna. Try, maybe we'll get some free extra money here. Or not. Ow, 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 ow. Uh oh. Alright. This guy needs to hide. Maybe we can find some more researchers while we're here. Oh, there's there's a few people. Grab them. Come on. Nice. If we go back to our research, let's see, we need five more minutes. Hmm. 
Let's drop it down to three minutes. Because once that prototype is secure, then I can really... I don't have to worry about my infiltrator anymore getting into trouble. Where is he? I'm also going to equip his... He comes with the sniper rifle. As you can see. I'm going to give that sniper rifle a silencer. So that way he can do long range killing. There we go. He can get a cloak. Nice. Again, you have complete freedom in how you define these characters. You can do whatever you want. Give them whatever enhancements you deem necessary. But the problem I have with the game, as you can see, is that the objectives are always set. So no matter how much you alter your characters, they're still limited in what you can and or what you're able to do with them. So let's bribe this person as well. Good. And now we got the money coming in. We can also start going around and messing with the various places. So we go back to our mission screen. There's a droid station. And to move on to the next districts, we need to either perform quests or spend money to get the passes we need. Okay. All right, there's two more stations. I'll send her over here. And where is that station? I think it's like right here. Oh, there it is. I'll send this one over there. Meanwhile, he's doing okay. You know, maybe we'll hack some more people while we're here. Of course, not in the eyes of the cameras. Ah, oh, there's another one. I'm finding a lot of researchers, luckily. Again, you just left click on the person and then you spend money to get more information about them. Come on. So our support has nothing, but we can give that. So now our support is under Damien Flowers. Mm, who else? 
else. We'll give our soldier Mota Gummy, whatever. Again, it's a little not intuitive to go through this. You have to make sure you be clicking this so you know who is assigned to who before you click assign. Because you can only assign the clone body to one person in order to get these bonus stats. So right now everyone has a bonus except for our infiltrator. So we should probably fix that. That's still recharging from our last use. And of course you can take over higher class people or like bouncers, scientists, whatnot, and they'll give you additional stats. And again, my the map uh, to be fair, you get a huge amount of territory for a strategy game to explore. Oh, there's a free ATM. Sometimes the minimap doesn't show you everything, which can be a little annoying. Okay, there we go. No one bother me. I'm just trying to get some free money. Is our research done? Oh, it is done. That's good. Okay, so that weapon is complete. So can we switch? Okay, yes we can. We can go from the Lincoln P97 to the Lincoln 405. So if we look, slow rail fire, more accurate, more damage. But it will increase your cost to respawn the person since you're giving them higher quality goods. So it looks like, well, the magazine size is less. Eh, we'll keep our old gun for right now since that's going to be our stealth weapon. Okay. So where are we right now? We're here. We could break into the parts bin until we have to, we can get anyone in there. So you know what? Let's do it. There's also an ATM nearby. Is that it? There it is. We'll send him over there. So pretty much you need the support to scan the people in order to get more information on them. We should be out of range of that camera. Oh, maybe not. Wait for it. There we go. Now I do like this concept of this just giant map and you're free to do whatever you want on it. I just wish that the objectives and the map design offered a little bit more in terms of variety of what you can can't do here. So for this, there's our door right there. Don't bother, don't mind me. And one, two, three, we're in. <laughs> well, that wasn't so bad. Alright, facility has been infiltrated. So with this, it will allow us to basically drop our clones anywhere we want, but we need to complete another mission to do that. So to do that, we need to turn on three relays. 
So there's one there. Oh, three terminals. I think I've done one so far. But there's one right there. But let's get uh, out of here first. Don't mind me. Come on. Ew. Yeah, again, the characters sometimes get stuck on objects where they don't want to respond, I've noticed. Right, let's get out of here. Come on, what are you doing? Get out of here. Let's see. We're almost out of trouble. I wish there was like a little indicator that would pop up when you're in and out of cover like this. Because when you're zoomed out, it's sometimes very hard to tell. Okay, we're free. I think we've done that one already, or not? Alright, so... This is the guard station. If we take this out... It's gonna lower the amount of time it takes our enemies to reinforce. But we need to use the infiltrator for that job. So I would probably send them both in. Oh, don't mind me. I'm gonna go all the way up there and get him in there to do it. He is on his way. What's the safest way in? And I also have my silence gun, so I can use that to do some stealth kills if need be. It looks like this. And I have the hackers, the level 2 hack, so I can break this. Come on. Okay, we're now in the area. Okay, I don't want to piss off those drones. If I can't avoid it. It's kind of funny that I can get away with this. I like the music got all like techno thriller on us. <laughs> right, you need to get out. Yeah, that's right, focus on him. Why aren't you running? Let's 
good how easy you can sometimes trick these guys up. Don't mind me. We're just walking around. We ain't committing any crimes. <laughs> and we have a new item we can research. Laser rifle. Well, let's go for it. Two, three. Oh, wait. There's our three. It's going to take 18 minutes. 14. Uh, I guess we might as well go for the cheapest one. But not bad, we got through that. Again, it's sometimes very easy to get away from enemies if you're just quick enough. Okay. What else can we do on this area here? Okay. We got that. There's the bank. Okay, so there's another... So there's three points in this place for us to go in. Cars to win right there. <laughs> okay. So we have to get to three of these places. how they saw me though again it's kind of the problem with kind of viewpoint it's very hard to see whether you're in or out of protection this car doing right here? <laughs> Alright, yeah. I'm gonna lose the prototype, but that's alright. Alright, so because the clone has disappeared right there, he lost his bonuses, but that's alright. try to take it. Oh, he leveled up. Let's see. I 
Whatever, so he can get increased that. I think stealth is probably gonna be a lot better. Alright, so his is safe. That was weird, I have no idea why that went off like that. Again, it's sometimes very odd how these controls are fighting. And it doesn't really matter. Okay, why, why aren't you moving? Weird. Just try, try, try again. Trying to get that prototype out of there. why this is not leveling up the soldier. I wish you'd get like group EXP instead of just one. Yeah, yeah. Maybe there's a better way of getting in this place.
floors. Do a full attack, I think. Oh. oh, he leveled up. I don't know how. I'm going to give him a little more health. No more Mr. Nice group of cyber agents here. <laughs> and that car is still busted. Probably turn off all my guns, that may help. Some things you have to do later on, it looks like, just to make it easier. Now, trouble? Good. Okay. Okay, increases health. Let's do it. We will level them up. Okay. Increases cost, increases health regen. Let's go for that. We'll get hard wire. I think we're going to probably call it in a few minutes. Sometimes you just gotta go in guns a blazing. <laughs> Any other quests we can do quickly? So this whole area is basically a danger zone. Okay, we did that already. We 
Really peeking. submission here. Oh, he needs a $5,000 bribe? Damn. Let's see. We have another big area here we could try to break into. So this is where the hardwire belly comes in. I can use our soldier to basically crack this open and then sneak our... Well, maybe we'll sneak the infiltrator in. He has a cloak now. stuff we can go at in this area. But why how do you see me? Sniper stealth kill there. Okay, we'll break into that. Alright, say goodbye to those annoying cameras. something. Alright, another station. So we're trying to get to some of these hot zones in this area. The barracks, armory, and the supply depot.
But we gotta be very careful not to get spotted. That's a lot of guards. So I have to go here, and I'll take this like right to it. Too bad I can't use like a sniper for like a long range assassination shot. I'm hiding behind this. Or are they going to see me? Yes? I think that's gonna do it for this video. As you can see, there's definitely a lot of ways to play it, but uh, it feels so very limited what you can and can't do because of the confusing stealth mechanics. And I think I would have liked a little bit more deeper thing, deeper mechanics really in terms of stealth and action. The leveling system is a little confusing since it seems to only apply them to directly using them but how do you get experience for stealth it doesn't really make sense I've done that and the fact that some characters basically have force utility means that you always want to need a hacker if you want to do something stealth because you need a hacker in order to get around the security stations. Alright, so I think we'll just grab whatever it is up here, and then we'll call it. Right. Oh, and there you go with the pathfinding.
But where's the last one? Is this bugged? I really hope this is not bugged. That's weird. Something a weird thing was happening there. Now let's see, is he gonna be smart enough to use the station? No. We got some money coming in, which is good. But yet, as we're finishing this up, as I said, I like this game, but I'm not loving it. I just wish that there is more control what I can do compared to just watching the guys flail around a lot. Is he going to actually get there? What's going on here? What, is he stuck in the wall? Hmm. Apparently this guy is stuck. The game seems to be a little buggy still. Oh, wait. That was where I just walked right through the wall there. Wait, I'm in the floor. That was very odd. And yeah, the UI could also stand to do some fixing as well. Sorry I'm not tar talkative as much for this game. With strategy games, you tend to stay quiet as you're trying to figure out what you're supposed to be doing. Alright, is so he gonna actually make it this time? Is he gonna go. What the? What is he doing? Wow, uh, definitely still some bugs in this game. That car uh, insanity earlier was a hoot. Alright, is there a closer waypoint? Eh, might as well. And this is the Consider version 1.0, by the way. So there shouldn't be any excuse for the game being this buggy. But like, here's like another example. Why should I use my whole party when it's easier to move one person around? And how do I get everyone stealth? I mean, get everyone experience. Alright, that's a little bit more money coming in. So when this quest is done, I'm just curious what I get for it. Alright, so that quest is complete. Now you get a quick tactical drone. Okay. So what does that mean? So we got that. So we can get prototypes from each one of these places. So I'm not sure what I did. Okay, so I don't have the money to give them guns anymore. Is that right? Yeah. So when they die, they lose their equipment unless you spend money to reacquire it. That's interesting. But I don't know what that drone thing I just got actually did. Oh, here it is. Put together. Once incapacitate, your agents will turn so we can drop it first. Oh. Okay, so this basically allows you to spawn characters right in their place and stuff back at a recon point. Okay, so I can see that upgrade being useful. All right, how's our research doing? So 
so this, you know what, I think I'm gonna stop that one. Just so that we can finish the RMD. Hopefully they'll get a patch out to fix the main menu bug that they've implemented. Okay, so here's the ATM. It would also help if you could actually right click on here and be able to send characters to it. Again, the whole menu system just feels very counterintuitive. There should also be a much cleaner way to uh, select clones and those types of units. Now if we come back here, again, lots of clicking to get around the places. No, we don't. Okay. Okay, so these guys have died. So they don't have the bonus anymore. So I have to find more bodies. Siphon. What? Oh, come on, game. Why are you bugging out on us? What in the hell is going on here? Oh, I think this may be a sign to stop this video because the game seems to be wigging out on us like this. I don't know why. I know when they went to early access, it was to bulk squash, so I'm surprised I'm still finding issues like this. Our guy's apparently stuck in the floor. Well, I guess this is as good as time as any to end it. I'm going to save this because I do want to play more of this. But yeah, that's Sally Rain, the open world high tech thriller. That unfortunately, it's still a little buggy right now. Hopefully they'll be able to squash the rest of these bugs and work on more content. I would love for them to do a multiplayer. There was talk about this for the stretch goals. And multiplayer with this type of setup would be perfect, I think. I could imagine myself and my three friends and three friends of mine just digging into this game with everyone controlling a different agent. That could be a whole lot of fun. But we'll have to see if that decides to get in or not. But that is Satellite Rain, at least the early stages. I may do another video as I get further in and mess around with it more. But for now, that's going to do it. For those of you who've been watching this live, thanks a lot for tuning in. If you've been enjoying this on YouTube and want to see more videos on a wide variety of games, you can catch me. I'm sorry. Uh, please like and subscribe to the channel. I'm looking at three things at the moment, folks. And please, everyone, check out game-wisdom.com for posts and podcasts relating to game design and the industry, as well as our ongoing Patreon campaign to secure some much-needed monthly funding to keep everything running along. You can find me on Patreon under Josh Beister or Game Wisdom, and any donations would be greatly appreciated. Other than that, uh, be sure to check out my Satellite Rain review. It should be going up probably in a few days from when you're actually watching this recorded. And for the YouTube audience, please check out the Twitch channel that is GW Bicer most nights at 10 Eastern to actually watch these videos and streams live. You can ask questions, comments, whatever. So, I am going to take a break here. Hopefully I can get some fresh clones and...